Hey there, it's Pete with GCI Turf. Hope you're having a great day today. And this is a little follow-up video uh, to a video I showed you a little earlier. And what I did was, I got a new mower. When it was new, what I did was, I ceramic coated it. You know, ceramic coating basically puts a little layer of glass on, your, on the surface and uh, it helps things to not stick to it so well. And keeping a mower clean, is can be a chore you know i like to take care of my stuff uh work hard for what i get um I'm, i work 12 to 14 sometimes 16 hours a day uh between videos and my local company and uh you know i, I bust my tail to have what i have i don't expect free handouts and i don't I don't even like free handouts. I like to actually earn what I have. And um, when you earn something, you work and you sweat and you labor for money. And then you take that money and you buy something. You want to take care of it. I mean, it's just, it is, I know some people don't do that, but, but I like to take care of my stuff. And this is no different. I wanted to try something new. I ceramic coated it. So today we're going to clean it and I'm just going to give you a, a first impression uh, of how much easier it cleans if it cleans easier. You know, we don't know that yet until I start cleaning it. So first I'm going to get up under here and scrape everything out off the deck. And to let you know I've mowed about, I think I've mowed with this thing about six or seven times. Yeah, I think I've mowed my yard six or seven times with this, so it's not overly nasty, uh, but it is kind of dirty, dirty enough to where it needs a good cleaning. So let's do it, and I'll give you my thoughts on whether or not the ceramic coating has made a difference, and what I'm basing this off of is 18 years of cleaning lawnmowers. <laughs> when we mow, we clean our mowers. My guys clean the mowers every single Friday like clockwork. When they come in from the week, uh, the, the last half of their Friday is spent sharpening blades every single week and washing, hand washing the mowers and equipment every single week and we do that as long as the weather allows us to do it and that's how we keep our machines looking you know, looking pretty good so so you can see that's what come out from up under the deck All right, so first thing I notice is, yes, that water is beating up really good on here. Let's get up under here and see how this is going to do. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Heck, yeah. Well, I got to say, that is peeling off of there like butter. Holy cow. Huh. Boy, I like that now. That's coming on off there pretty good. So that's not too awful bad right there. 
But I'm gonna tell you what, that grass peeled right off of there. Man, I wish the sun was shining today so you could see this really good. But it is, you just have to take my word for it. It is pretty dang clean up under there. I mean, pretty clean. Let's see, I think you might can see it a little better right here. I think I can honestly say that the grass up under the deck come off a lot easier. The, the machine washed a lot easier. And, and I'm comparing that against multiple, multiple brand new mowers I've owned in the past. And um, yeah, I, I think it worked pretty dang good. I think one of the tricks to it is you need to do it when the mower's new. Yeah, you know, unless you can get like the, the machine incredibly clean. I mean, almost factory clean. Then you can come in ceramic coat it because you gotta remember anything that's on the surface of the mower, that ceramic coating is gonna kind of lock it in and cover it up. So you want, you definitely want a super clean uh, surface to work with. So hey, I hope this helped. Um, I hope maybe give you an idea. Maybe one of you want to do this. I don't know. But anyway, there you go. Appreciate you watching. I'll check you later.